the 21st century, it's absolutely mission critical that an organisation has a digital strategy. They cannot function in today's world without one. Um, we often find organisations are doing um, bits of digital activity, but it tends to be incoherent and, um, and certainly put on the back burner compared to actually trying to develop product. So we're trying to encourage organisations to put this at the front of their agenda and to see this as a cross-organisational initiative that really needs resource and needs to be prioritised to the benefit of them, not just in terms of audiences, but in terms of developing their art and offering their art nationally and internationally. A programme like this is really important because we have known for some time that some arts organisations in New Zealand are falling behind when it comes to digital strategy. And we're working in a context now where there's rapid change, so things like uh, content, mobile, social becoming so important. And this is a, is a scenario that's ripe for opportunity. Artemeta is a group of people uh, that create dance uh, that brings together Māori stories um, in a contemporary way. Atamira is many things, um, but it is a dance company that creates uh, professional dance performances to tour around New Zealand and internationally. The work that we do is uh, dance presentation. Uh, we also have a, a growing youth engagement um, area which uh, can be one-off workshops, master classes. Uh, we're now engaging with the Auckland Philharmonia um, presenting this huge um, project where the whole orchestra um, assists us in presenting this night of dance. It's like one night of dance can change your life. Uh, alongside that we also have uh, this growing youth engagement area where we're delivering workshops in South Auckland, West Auckland, uh, North Shore, kind of all over the Auckland area and sometimes they can be um, it's a part of a matinee show or um, just one-off workshops with schools or community groups. So, and that's an area that we're really um, excited about actually. The digital strategy, the way that we, um, that we work with, with all of the different digital platforms um, throughout the company, I think um, it's timely for us to look at how we're using them. Uh, ultimately, um, uh, you know, are they user friendly? You know, are they actually helping us to communicate? Um, is it helping us to connect with our audiences, with our communities? And um, I think uh, you know, we've ha had some success in particular areas and other areas. I think we've got um, a lot of work to do. The Capability Building Program has been designed um, based on the findings of the survey, um, which identified the key areas of need for the arts organisations. And they include things like governance and strategic planning and audience development. This initiative is one of a suite of offerings um, from Creative New Zealand to help um, develop their skills. We've been going through a rebrand and it seemed like a really good opportunity to build on that uh, and be able to work with Vicky. You know, and I've, I've heard about her a lot and done workshops with her in the past, so to be able to have the opportunity to have that close mentoring I thought would um, really enhance the overall brand development. It is really important having a clear strategy in, in all forms. We already have an existing uh, strategic plan and we have a marketing um, and audience development strategy, so to have a, a digital strategy is also important and then you've got something created that you're able to refer back to. It's really important to have a digital strategy because many of our audiences now are very savvy with digital and using digital tools on as part of their everyday life. Having the strategy in existence will definitely mean that the um, information that we're putting out to audiences uh, digitally is going to be more focused on meeting what our audiences are looking for. This year's participants in the Developing a Digital Strategy initiative are mainly the smaller independent companies. Um, we also have um, major theatre and orchestras participating. And one of the wonderful things to see as part of their development 
is the fact that um, digital is starting to become integrated across their organisation and it's not being seen as just a marketing goal. Compared to last year, some of the organisations are benefiting from the alumni and this is um, a great way that we can cross-pollinate the learning between um, last year's participants and this year's. Um, they are mainly smaller organisations, possibly with slightly less resource, but they do have the benefit of organisations that have done it before. Stuart Angel from the Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra was the alumnus that we invited to the, the first workshop in the second round of the program to share his case study. He was incredibly generous in doing so and that was in, a very, very helpful for the, for the new participants. The benefit of working with Creative New Zealand on developing the digital strategy for me is it actually dictates a time frame. You know, it's so easy constantly to keep putting things off and saying, actually, we're too busy at the moment. But working with Helen and Vicky and the team right from the beginning, from the opening session, it was very clear that we had, um, say, a time frame to adhere to. We had benchmarks to measure our success. And we had regular input from Vicky as well as we were going along just to make sure that we were staying on track. So through developing the strategy, a great example for the APO is we now do a number of live streamings through each year. That one piece of live streaming though has multi uses for us. We'll stream on the console evening, potentially doubling our audience size. We'll take the edited clips 48 hours later and put them back onto the website for people to enjoy reliving the console experience. But then we can slice and dice that material for many uses over the coming months, whether it's making a fundraising video or whether it's making an education video. To us, it really has been a fantastic focus at looking, analysing what we're doing and being far more strategic with all of the work we're doing across the digital field. Hearing what the other companies were doing you know, and where they were at, really, um, and just sharing some of the ideas of, you know, like how they were choosing to tackle some of the challenges that they were facing. That was really great to hear and also sparked ideas about how we could use some of what they were trying to do that fitted with our format. One of the things that um, Atameda really wants to start to develop is a webisode series. Um, being a you know dance company, that's one of our important yeah, so ways of reaching digital platforms through our visual content. I have seen a change in the way the company are talking about our visual brand. Um, so, you know, most of that has been seen online so far through the website and also through just sharing of our animated e-flyer which has been uh, you know going through uh, digital channels. Uh, we really need to focus on the final stages of our website rollout and that is um, really important so the website is up and running now but it needs a little bit more work and now is the perfect opportunity to apply this digital strategy um, initiative into the website design before it's locked off. Uh, it's been really interesting hearing all the other companies and where they're at and, and everyone's quite different in their approach um, but it's, it's the same kind of journey that everyone's taking. Digital strategy is not just marketing. So I would say around 75% of the applicants to the program talked about their online marketing goals and, and nothing else because there's a misperception that digital strategy is about online marketing. Now marketing and audience development is hugely critical, I'm the first to, to say that, but what we're talking about with digital strategy is increasing efficiencies and, and effectiveness across all areas of your operation using digital tools and opportunities. So I'm talking artistic, operational, uh, sponsorship, fundraising and development, education as examples of these, as well as marketing and audience development. One of the key things I think we learnt on the first day was um, the difference between thinking of it as marketing to thinking about it as digital strategy for you know how, and how that imp gets implemented within the company within the infrastructure of the company with when how we communicate within ourselves and how that exudes out into the external 
our audience, our fans, you know, um, and how we how we choose to do that through the social media um, options that we've got. So it's exciting to see the things that Atomira Dance Company is starting to put in place as an outcome of the programme. They're working very much on operational efficiencies, using digital tools to enhance that. They're also looking at existing digital channels, such as the website they recently launched, and how they can optimise those better in order to achieve their goals, and how these tools are feeding into their goals. I think before going through this process, it was a challenge just to think about having a digital strategy, whereas now that we've actually got something concrete in place, it's not so much of a challenge. 